everyone, this is Glenn Irvin, Herb Spanish, and this is video number one of Deck Toys Tutorials. And what I'm going to do is go through and start off very simply with how do you create your first deck and then how you move on from there. To get the Deck Toys is super simple, uh, HTTPS, and then you're going to go deck.toys and you'll be able to get to this website. Signing up is for free. You can uh, delve out all of the information to your students and they can participate in all the activities and Currently, all of this is free. Uh, the best way I can describe Deck Toys to you is it's a sort of vocab review. You can embed presentations. You can embed videos. Um, it even has some breakout uh, EDU components to it. And if you're excited about any of those things, you should definitely try this tool out. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get logged in here. I've just logged in with my uh, Google account. So I'm going to go ahead and just log in here. And then uh, what it'll do is it'll take me to a screen here, and I'm going to move myself over here. Uh, and it gives me uh, all these different types of options. I can actually check out some uh, example decks that have been created. But I'm going to go ahead and just uh, click on the plus button here, and we are going to create one from scratch. And then what you're really looking at here is uh, you're going to create a set of activities is a good way to be able to think of this. I'm going to show you how to just create a couple of them right here in video number one. So first of all, you're going to click the little plus button right here, and you're going to give it a name. So we're just going to call it Z Sample, okay? And then uh, right away, it gives us the sample one here. And now we need to go ahead and edit this deck. So let's go ahead and edit, and then let's get it to the screen where most of your work will be done. And this is the deck builder screen and basically it looks like a grid is a good way to be able to think of it is you have kind of these pathways that you can go ahead and set different things on and the things that we we have some different choices over here on the right hand side and over here we're not going to worry about this part too much because these are the study sets this is the content the information that we're going to be drawing from especially for these things called the study set apps okay so for right now, you probably have zero idea what I'm talking about. The first thing I would do is click this plus button because it allows you to add a new activity. And there's various activities. Let's just bring those up. Uh, we have this thing that says slides with questions. Now, what's amazing about the slides with questions is that you can, of course, let's bring that up and I'll just show you what I'm talking about. And let's go ahead and just double click in here. And here are the things that we can bring into the slides. You can bring in uh, PowerPoints. Um, you can bring in slide presentations like Google Slides. Uh, as it says here, you can embed a YouTube video, an image, uh, any of those things, a link, all of those things into one set of slides. So if you're trying to go ahead and gather materials from various different places and then put them all into one place and then have your students either A, uh, watch, uh, read through some of the materials or watch something or a combination of all of those things, this is a fantastic way to do it. Okay. So for right now, I'm going to go ahead and embed something here. I'm going to pause this and I'm going to embed a Google slide and then show you what it looks like. So actually, I wanted to show you exactly how this works because I'm just going to go ahead and click insert media. And immediately it takes me to my Google Drive because this, that's how I signed up. And so I can go to, I have a couple of presentations here. I'm just going to select this one right here and then just select this presentation here uh, and it's going to immediately convert these uh, slides into a media that it actually understands. So now my presentation has been embedded and I could also add videos here and images and anything else that I'm thinking of that I want my students to go ahead and be able to see. And then so you might be asking, okay, so how does this all appear for the students? Well, it appears in a grid here and I can move this. This is basically the first thing here. Let's just call this presentation, okay? This would be the content of the lesson. So this would be the presentation materials, whether it be a slide presentation or videos or a combination of many of those types of things. But first, you would need to give your students instructions. So really, you start off with a signpost. And that's the new activity here. That's this thing right here where you are giving them some short instructions on like what are they actually doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a signpost activity. And it says it up here. And I'm going to call it start here. And then not only does it say start here, but I can also just double click in there and I can give my students directions like this is where you will start your, your uh, this is where you will start your deck toys activity. Sounds good. So this is kind of giving them a clue as far as like what are, what are we actually doing here? Senor Irvin? 
So then let's say they have to do this first, okay? And now I'm going to lead a pathway to the presentation. That's going to be the next thing. So I'm going to make a little path between here and here. And that's how Deck Toys actually works, the Deck Builder, is you complete an activity and then another activity opens up. So this one will be first and then this one will come up. From this point, I can break off into multitude, multiple activities. Let's say I have two different activities that I want to go ahead and have the students do. And these activities can be with these study set apps, and I can just drag and drop those right in here. Now, it already auto-created two activities. One of them was flashcards and one of them was match. I can decide which type of activities I want to go ahead and select from there. But that will be video number two, is we'll work on the study set apps and talk about each one. And then what's awesome is that you can use your Quizlet sets. So any type of vocab list you've already had in Quizlet, bring them into Deck Toys without having to do anything. Just basically import them in and then you select the types of activities you want your students to participate in. So that'll be a video too. If you have any questions so far, let me know. Adios. Hasta la vista.